I am back and I am ready. Hey guys, welcome back to Be Mouse Guest. Oh my gosh, I am excited for today's meal. As you can tell, I am wearing workout clothes. I bet you can guess why. Because we're eating pizza. I mean, stretchy pants for that, right? It just makes me feel better if I'm wearing leggings while I'm eating pizza. It's gonna be like a thin flatbread of deliciousness. So thanks for joining me yet again, and I'm super excited because we're eating pizza, but I'm just super excited in general. It's really special and fun for me to be doing this and uh, let's get cooking. Okay, and we're back. So here we go. Our leftover recipe is going to be, as I mentioned, a pizza. So I went and I bought a ball of dough from the grocery store. I really prefer to buy the dough that's in the individual like packets as opposed to like a Pillsbury can. It's just my personal opinion that it tends to be a little bit better quality, but definitely get what you want and what you can. So I had split the dough into three different pieces because we we're gonna make a couple of things. Today we're gonna use the leftover basil mozzarella chicken and do a little flatbread pizza. We're also gonna do a calzone with that. So we have some dessert because who doesn't love dessert and who doesn't need more carbs after their carbs? I do. And then we'll use that leftover third of the dough uh, for something a little bit later in the week. So I rolled out um, some pizza dough here and I'm just gonna put this right on a baking pan. Now if you have like a round pan that's four pizzas, definitely use that. If you have a stone, feel free to use that. This is what I've got to work with today. So what I'm gonna do over here is I will go ahead and put some pesto on. Remember, we, we put quite a bit of pesto and cheese on the chicken, so let's keep that in mind as we're spreading the pesto over this pizza here. We're just gonna put a nice little layer of pesto, and this is a, a thicker pesto to start with. And we'll add our toppings. Obviously, the thing I love about making pizzas at home is you're in complete control of what you put on it. So, the pesto is on the pizza. And now I am Italian. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut up a tomato. If you like it in slices, I think the little Roma tomatoes are great for slicing. This is a vine tomato, so I'm gonna actually dice it. Whatever your preference is, guys. So I'm just gonna cut this up really quickly here. If I am anything, I am the type of person who can't get enough carbs and cheese. Whatever form that is in, whether that's a pizza, a quesadilla, grilled cheese, macaroni and cheese. I don't think it's a problem. It's definitely not the healthiest. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut up this chicken breast here. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Now you can put them on in, in strips if you like. Um, I'm just gonna dice it. Sprinkle it around the pizza. A pizza, pizza pie. And the nice thing about this pizza is it is pretty light. All right, can you tell I like toppings? The protein of the chicken is gonna be delicious. The tomatoes, cause they're nice and fresh. So we've got the toppings put on and now we're just gonna add a little bit of extra cheese. So we'll just top this with some cheese. I don't want it to be too, too cheesy. Remember we do have the cheese that's from the chicken. We want it to get nice and golden in the oven. So I have already preheated the oven to 450 degrees and this is gonna cook in there for about 20 minutes. And uh, while this is cooking, I'm gonna make an awesome dessert calzone. Oh my gosh, get ready guys. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. Can't wait to eat you. All right, oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how excited I am for this part. Um, first of all, I love rolling out dough because who doesn't like playing with their food? Um, maybe that's just the kid in me, but I think it's awfully fun. It never turns out round. That's just the reality of rolling out dough for me, but that's okay. So we're just gonna roll this out and we'll just flip it. And if it sticks, that's just because you need more flour. And I definitely tend to keep it a little bit simple in the kitchen and that's just because I don't have all the time in the world. Um, but I do still like to cook. So I, I find ways that I can cheat the system. Not everything is homemade. I didn't make this dough, I bought it. Look at that. Actually it turned out pretty round, which is funny because I don't need this one to be round at all. All right, you definitely wanna make sure that before you put all the toppings on it, that you put it on the pan because otherwise it's gonna be really hard to transfer um, after you put any toppings on the dough. So we've got the pan here. We're just gonna lay this down and then we'll start topping it. And what we're doing for this dessert calzone here is we're doing banana and Nutella. Um, I got that idea from crepes in Paris. Nutella is definitely one of those things that I usually have in my cupboard and bananas as well. So we'll just put some of this awesome hazelnut spread on here. I didn't discover Nutella till like probably a year ago. 
and boy have I been missing out on life. I mean, you can spread this with a knife, I just find that it's just as easy to do it with the spoon. It might not be the prettiest thing in the world, but you know. It's all good. We're gonna fold it up and it's gonna cook anyways. And then I'm gonna cut up a banana and I'm gonna put this entire banana in there and it's just gonna cook up so yummy. I'm just gonna cut this into slices. So we're just gonna take this and we'll put this right on in there. Got some extra pieces of banana, so I just, you know, snack. Okay, now what you're gonna do, I'm sorry mom, I did start talking with food in my mouth. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold this over. So we'll take this side, Fold it over here, cover the toppings, and then we will merely just kind of, I just kind of like twist to close it up. Twist, 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 spin, twist. Oh, it looks so pretty already. And here we have the calzone. So same thing, 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so. I'll see you back in a few. You know what's next, right? It's time to eat, it's time to eat, we're gonna eat, it's time to eat. Oh my yummy. This, first of all, smells amazing. I will say it time and time again, that is the hardest part about doing this, is that you guys can't smell it. Um, you can't taste it either, but you can make it at home. Now, I did do these a little bit thinner, and then I feel like I could eat more because I'm not just completely overdoing it on the carbs. So let's slice this up here. If that's not delicious, I don't know what is. Put a couple pieces on my plate. Let's bite right in. I don't even know what to say. It's just so good. I love the fresh flavor of the tomatoes. I love roasted tomatoes as they start to soften like they did on this pizza here. Leftover chicken is perfect on this pizza. Mm, mm -hmm. It is kind of awkward eating on camera, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just really, really hungry. And it's really, really good. Now, I hid something because I'm still a normal person and I still like to dip my pizza in ranch. Which I love ranch. Sue me. This is my favorite part about cooking, and this is why I wanted to do this, is we're using all the same flavor profiles as yesterday, but this tastes completely different. And that, to me, is what's so fun about playing in the kitchen and recreating dishes. I can't eat too much because we do have dessert coming up, which I'm equally excited about. I wish you could try it, but it's all for me. I'm hungry, I need a napkin. Kind of a messy cook and a messy eater. I can't wait for you guys to try this one. I think you'll really, really like it. Do you hear that? I think it's the sound of my calzone calling. I'm like the least corny person ever. <gasps> wow. Yep, not mad about it, guys. I don't know what cutting it this in half is gonna do. Normally, I would just like wait till it cooled down and just bite right into it. I also would pretend like I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. <gasps> Look at how crispy that is. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. It's also gonna burn the crap out of my mouth, which is horrifying and satisfying at the same time. I burn my mouth because I'm so excited to eat. And yet then you have to worry about the roof of your mouth peeling, which is disgusting, but it's like, but remember how good that was in the moment? So weird. That is just pure deliciousness. Yum, yum, yum. Look what I did, guys. We're gonna let that cool for a minute. This is like the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Let's dig in. I can't wait a moment longer. It smells so good and it's nice and crispy. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I'm a happy camper. I'm gonna be here eating the remainder of the food. Super excited for next week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is so fun and I'm just very grateful to be trying something new. I hope genuinely and sincerely that you're enjoying it. Until next time, thanks for joining me on Be Mal's Guest yet again and I'll see you next week.